Welcome guys, my name is edogs82 and I'd like to welcome you to my new Let's Play commonly known as Call of Warhammer but officially known as Rage of the Dark Gods My axe will draw blood this day! <laughs> so as you can tell the sound effects are pretty awesome I'm playing as the Chaos Dwarves and this is the very first turn, this is all the regions up in the north of the wastes that you can conquer this game is a modification for Medieval 2 Kingdoms and it's based in the lore of the game, the tabletop game version of Warhammer Fantasy. And so I'm a bit of a fan of Warhammer myself. I, I used to play a lot of Lord of the Rings Warhammer the occasional 40k, but I didn't really play too much fantasy. I don't think I really played it at all. But this is the map that you can play on. There's various different factions you can play against, as I'll show you now. There's Chaos Dwarves Expedition, which is my own faction. We're at war with almost everyone. Then we have the Warriors of Corn, which is a Chaos faction. We have also Minions of Zinch, Children of Nurgle, so those are the Chaos Powers within this realm. We have also the Cultists of Selenesh, which are also Chaos Powers. Technically our faction is also a Chaos faction, but we're not one of the major ones. We have the Dark Elves Expedition, which we'll probably tangle with fairly soon. Sylvania, which is also better known as the Vampire Counts. We might have to deal with them, I'm not so sure. We have the Night Goblins. Those guys are very numerous, but they can be quite weak, so it won't be too much of an issue, I don't think. We've got the Orcs and Goblins, better known as the Greenskins. The Grand P Principality of Reichland, which is an empire faction, so the Empire of Man, and that is the main faction where the Emperor Karl Franz comes from. We have the Grand County of Weisenland, which is another empire faction, Grand County of Averland, Grand County of Stirland, Grand Duchesses of Middenheim and Middenland, the Grand Duchy of Tala Beckland. We have the Grand Principality of Ostland, the League of Ostermark, the Grand Barony of Hochland, the Grand Barony of Nordland, and those are the Empire factions in the game. Then we have the High Elves Expedition, so they're the good elves, not the Chaos Fallen Elves. Karaz Encore, or just the dwarves. We have Kislav, which is a human faction that rides bears for their cavalry. We have the uh, Border Prince's Confederacy, which are also sort of part of the Empire. We have the Beastmen. We have the Grand the Grand Theologist Lands, which are sort of like the Empire's major cult faction. The Tomb Kings of the Khemri will definitely be uh, f in their lands soon enough. We have Norsica, which is a sort of independent barbarian human state. We have the Skaven, which are the Rat Men. I very much like them. Uh, but those are the factions within the game, as you can see. So at the beginning of the game, we start with two regions, which are castles. We have five generals, which seems a little overkill, but why not? So we have land, the land of Gorgoroth's, Gorgoth's Tower, and Az Kulak. Az Kulak. Right off the bat, that we're going to uh, disband this naval unit because it's going to cost us a lot of money. 
I'm going to no, chuck I'm all our units into our, our castle. Will be reimbursed. And see how that Come works on, our economy out. We're still losing money at this point, but we should be able to fix that. Okay, so this is our capital. We're going to go inside and see what we can first do. Okay, so there's a lot of buildings here that we can do. Particularly first off, I want to look at um, economy because our economy is already not great. So what does this do? Oh, we get a lot of income from the in-depth development of hobgoblins. So it's going to take five turns, but it'll be well worth it. What can we do down in Gorgoth's Tower? Hmm. Let's try highways. Ooh, that's going to take a while. Death Rocket. We'll recruit some merchants down here. Because we'll definitely need them. Okay, what are we looking at? Um, let's retrain our lords to make them stronger. Our Death Rocket, why not? We'll leave those for next turn. And we'll just end our turn here. So if you see me saving like this often, it's because um, we have crashes occasionally for this game because it's still in beta. It's made by an awesome creator by the name of Gigantus. His games are always awesome. As you can see, I've extensively played quite a few campaigns of my own. <laughs> okay, so if you see me saving often, it's not because I'm a noob, it's because, well, this game sometimes crashes. But here we go, let's end the turn. So what are you high elves up to? Not a lot that I can see, apparently. We're quickly moving through the turns. Kislav is taking their turn. The orcs and goblins now, the beastmen. And moving through chaos. And all the empire factions, the dwarves. And back to my turn. Alright, so what do we got? Yeah, we lost a lot of money from all of that. Hopefully we'll start to make it back again. Our military power and overall might has gone up. Our financial standing has gone down. And our production and population has stayed the same. So not a bad first turn, I'd say. Okay, so let's put these merchants to work. Let's see what merchants we've got. He's nothing and he's nothing. So they're both base level level merchants. Ready to make a deal. That one can make 57 crowns off of the tin mine. 71 off the silver. Salt pit 27. And its iron mine is 79. So let's go to the iron mine. We'll start trading this immediately. Ready to make a deal. our friend over here to the silver mine. We'll start trading so this now, the merchant trade says we're making 150 uh, crowns out of this. Gold crowns, awesome. So we're bringing down our expenses, which is good. Eventually that will fix itself up. We'll retrain these men. And... What else do we wish to get? Hmm. Let's get some... Yeah, let's get some Chaos Dwarf Alabasts. What can we do down here for recruiting? 
just a death rocket. That costs a lot of money. Mm. I think I'll hold off on recruiting anything down here at the moment because we're not in any immediate danger. Um, but at the moment, we'll send our, I will not dishonor my our lords down through these passes and see where our territory extends to. See what we can I find. Say, I'll keep Let's build a watchtower right, here so we can watch the road. Let's grab this other lord this and send him up to the top of the mountain. And place a watchtower. Hey, oh, not a problem. Awesome. So now we've we've discovered that this is Elvish lands, because the elves are the white. Carl's lands. Okay, so the elves have settlements somewhere around here. We'll move him back into hey, the settlement okay. and uh, bring our faction blood. leader, Overlord Rykarth, out. And have him similarly produce a watchtower. Right, so now we can see Karak Vlag. It's held by demons. It says it's a rebel castle, so this will be tough to take. So that we can already see that they have horrors of Zinch, which are incredible. These guys are going to be awful to fight. Um, screamers of Zinch, more awful flying stingray things, and blood crushers of corn, which will be absolutely frightening. We do not really want to attack these guys until we've got an incredible force to take them. These aren't sprinters' legs, are they? I'll keep them peeled. All right. So, how many turns? Five more till we get some highways, and that means we can move quicker. Um, let's see if we can find this is my great -grandfather's blade. our borders over in this Where's part of the world. I'll be over there soon enough. I think oh, I found them. Without me. Don't worry me, I'm going. Let's put a watchtower up. So we've got the Skaven horde right here. That's quite a big Skaven force. They've got almost a full stack. Let's pull back right, to... Gorgoth's tower, and it appears that we've got orcs on our borders too, or greenskins. Yep, there's two greenskin lands here, so we've got a bit of trouble brewing. Alright, let's end our turn and continue on. So hopefully once we, uh, oh, the Tomb Kings are there, they might attack the Skaven, this will be good. Um, so hopefully once we, once we, uh, what is it, yeah, once we stabilize our economy and get those buildings like the highways and the Hobgoblin development, ooh, Union Orcs, Gnomes, Chaos, Union Orcs, I'm not sure what that means. Um, yeah, hopefully once we... Okay, so we've improved our military and overall. There's not much difference. Uh, hopefully once we get those developments done, we should be able to stabilize our economy a bit better. Okay, so we've allied ourselves with the orcs and the goblins. Interesting. Not quite sure how. <laughs> I hope my expenses will be reimbursed. Hey, I'll be going. I'll be over there. But, uh, let's build another watchtower right here and head back to Gorgoth's Tower. Oh, we found a shaman. 
Come on, what Let's are you waiting? Come down here real quick right, and chuck up a tower. Right, now we can see the Camry Ruins, which is the Tomb King's only province and also their capital. Let's move back to Gorgoth's Tower. Alright, so that's pretty much all that we can do down here for the time being. We could get a death rocket, but don't really need to. So let's continue to move our dwarven friends down this way. It appears that we've come to the edge of our borders. Yep. Right, you are. Here's a orc army of it, our friends now, apparently. What do you want, Let's move back I'll into our capital. What can we recruit? I think I'd like to get some orc arrow boys. Some orc boys in general. Spear boys would be good. And some goblin spears too. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of men to assault this demon castle. And let's quickly save our progress so that we don't lose it. And let's end the turn. who will come for us first who will our enemies send against us quite surprising that I managed to get a alliance with the orcs and goblins like I don't actually have any diplomats so it kind of confuses me <laughs> how that just spontaneously happened must be a feature of the game but that basically clears up our border down here along the edge of Gorgoth's Tower. So we don't have to worry about the orcs. We can just come after the Tomb Kings and the Skaven and this rebel province that looks like it's in the mountain pass. Mm, the Tomb Kings do look set to fight the Skaven. And it looks like the Skaven are building up quite a lot to defend their territory. Okay, so it looks like we're losing more money still. We've gone down quite a bit. The Tomb Kings are incredibly rich. If we can take their lands, we would be incredibly rich too. Okay. We've got two more turns till that happens. Let's get ourselves an Earthshaker Cannon. And what else? Hmm, let's get some Hobgoblin Archers. Goblin Archers. And then some... Hobgoblin Sneaky Gits. Let's Did bring this guy back. These aren't sprinters' legs, are they? Uh, don't worry about it, buddy. You'll get there. Let's bring me. you back to Gorgoth's Tower. That'll give us a little bit more income. Bring you back as well. So we're going to start to run out of money really soon. Oh, we got our, we clicked on our merchant. That's funny. We got three more turns to wait until that happens. I think what we need to do next down here is possibly work on, ooh, I'll work on a a barracks or something like that. Warriors Hall, changes of annihilation. Hmm. Chambers of Annihilation will be what we'll do next, yeah, definitely. I think so, yep. Or maybe... Yeah, yeah, Chambers of Annihilation, that's what we need. Um, 
Anyways, we'll watch how this plays out. Hopefully they weaken each other. We're still going to build up our army here and attempt to take out Karak Vlag from the demons. It's going to be a tough fight, I think. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of money here. Our merchant trade is good, our trade is okay, farming's doing okay, mining is incredible for us. King's Purse is great, our army upkeep is massive, and the wages and the recruitments, ah, oh, it's just too much. Anyways, we'll save here, and then end our turn. Arabia. Hmm. So the High Elves have a navy that they're trying to use against us. But they sailed away. I'm hoping that we can get <clears throat> at least one battle in before we finish this turn, this um, episode. But that may not be possible. Right, so we've got our allied shaman going in there and trying to convert the Skaven to the worship of Mork and Gork. Or Gork and Mork. <laughs> Just the Orcs religion. Yeah, so de it definitely looks like the Skaven and the Tomb Kings are really getting really getting ready to just throw down. Oh, look at that, they're moving away. Building up even more forces. Same for the Skaven. Oh, the Skaven are moving out. This is different. This is a big move. That leaves them incredibly open to attack. They've just left... Oh my goodness, they've basically just left the front door open for the Tomb Kings. Or me. Yep, we'll let you get married. Okay, so our military and overall status have gone up. Our financial has gone way down. Um, yep, we got more troops. That's great. Okay, let's take a look at the family tree. The slave master Baldrick, our heir, got married. Gaharak, the Unbreakable, is still unmarried. So is Kudarak, the Unbreakable, and Olfo, Unbreakable. Our overlord, Rykarth, our faction leader, is married to Elasa. And we have a kind of a small um, family tree to begin with. Alright, since you're already out here... We're going to get you to field this army over here. You can be the commander. We'll give you everything except for those commanders. As our income. Ooh. Not so great, but now you have a full army. And we're going to move you into Demon's Lands and attack next turn. Hopefully that Death Rocket will be enough to break the walls down for us. But if not, we can always send over the Earth Shaker Cannon. Awfully tempting to see... Hmm... They only have four units here, and it's a wooden castle. I don't know if I have the manpower to take them. Because they might come back. Or they might... They might build up more men. That's the problem. And I can't really recruit much. I think we'll hold off and we'll wait and see how this plays out for now, but we'll uh, save our game real quick and then end the turn.
I know it's a lot of quick and turns here at the beginning, but uh, that's kind of what you have to do when you first start out a campaign on a Total War game. Even in a mod. Kids loves taking their time. They must be doing something important. Our allies, our only allies in this world, are moving their shaman past that secretive, shadowy uh, fortress. I'm not sure who possesses it. I think it's rebels. Wonder if we'll see the dwarves soon. I know they're nearby. Oh, the Tomb Kings are on the move, but they're heading towards a different way. Oh, Skaven have been forced back, but from where? Did they attack the rebels? If they are rebels, indeed. This Skaven force is going where? Well, it's our turn again. We're about to run out of money. Our military's gotten stronger. Our overall competitiveness with all the other factions has gone down, as well as our financial standing. Yes, yeah, so we've got the in-depth development of Hobgoblin, so that should get them the Earthshaker Cannon, should, so that should get us a ooh, war between the Orcs, Goblins, and Night Goblins. Yeah, that should get us a good amount of money. Oh, we're going to go negative. We're going to go negative. Well, uh, my will be reimbursed. This could be bad. Really bad. A thousand slaves for our toil. My axe will draw blood this day. All right. Chase dwarf steel. You call that a building? Ah. Let's assault. It says that we've got a disadvantage because look at this crazy army. Oh my goodness. We are seriously in trouble. Their commander is nothing. He is just weak. It says we're at a disadvantage, but I think we can pull this off. All right, the first siege of the campaign. Awesome. Will our commander have a speech for us? Guess not. Let's start our deployment. So this guy down here, this little devilish guy, is our commander. He's got a pretty sick bodyguard. These are our forces. So we've got orcs and dwarves all mixed together with the goblins as well. So we've got a very variety filled <laughs> Army, these black orcs, some of our best warriors. Awesome. So, what are we going to do? How are we going to approach this? We've got our death rockets here. Hmm. Shall we go in the front gate, maybe? Sure, let's try that. All right, let's go to battle. Let's move our ranged forces forward. Not you, your blunderbuss.
Okay, what to do next? Are these death rockets gonna hit the gate? I hope they do. We might be in, we might lose before we even start. Some of them are hitting the gate. Yeah, we, we might get through. Okay, so our archers are moving forward. Let's move our warriors forward. So all heavy infantry report to the front lines. Basically, all our infantry is heavy. Got these sneaky gits. Spearmen will move to the rear in case there's cavalry, which I think they do have. Our wolves, yeah, our wolf riders will hold back here. The hobgoblin wolf rider archers. Oh, oh, we blasted the gate open. That's great. Awesome. We'll move our blunderbusses up and support. Let's turn fire at will off and stick our chief behind everybody else. Not because he's a coward, but because it's important that he's leading us because, well, we need him to to lead our forces. Our morale will take a big hit if our general falls in combat. So, the enemy seems to be bringing forth their mounted demonettes, and then the rest of them are chilling in the town center. And they've got grotesque guys. These guys on horseback Blood crushes of corn are going to be the ones that I have to fear big time. Alright. So, since they're bringing cavalry forward, I'm going to bring my spears forward. Supported by my archers. My death rockets will sit here and fire at anything that's deciding to come around. I kind of wish I had more spearmen for this assault, to be honest. So the balance of power reckons that we're going to lose this. Time to prove them wrong. Time to show this computer minds that a human can be with a computer. I may have this castle, but I've got all the right stuff. Where are the death rockets going to hit? Oh, getting close. They haven't quite hit the mounted demonettes yet. But we'll see. Will they do it in the future? So we're moving our orcs, spear boys, and our goblin spears forward, as well as all these mixed bag of archers. Death rockets continue to fire. We've hit this wall. Hmm. Oh, oh. Missed. Went right over their heads. And these mounted demonettes, what the hell are they riding? Some sort of lizard? Ugh. It's 31 of them. So there's actually 62 mounted demonettes that are going to stop us. Let's run with our warriors that are coming forward. 
Hopefully they don't enact their towers to start shooting at us, that could be bad. Hopefully these spears and archer combination can be enough to whittle down the enemy mountain forces so that we can push into the city in earnest. Demon charge. Archers open fire. So the arrows are falling among their ranks. I don't think they're dropping any of them yet. This rain makes it kind of hard to tell where the arrows are falling. Our spearmen will be moving up. Coming through the gateway now as we can see. Hopefully they will annihilate these mounted guys. Oh yes, our men are hitting them. Our mounted guys are doing good work. Awesome. Our skis are engaged now with their cavalry. Let's kick their ass. Oh, that death rocket did a loopy loop. Come on, boys, push forward. Let's rally the troops with our general, because they seem to be in a bit of a tough way. These alabasts, yeah, they're the ones that are shooting, like, those explosives, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're shooting like explosive heads, sort of like Rambo had. Ooh, they got demonettes of Slanesh. Not mounted ones, but still deadly all the same. Let's uh, switch our fire to the demonettes. Moving up horrors of siege. Okay, we need to support our men with the heavy infantry and move them move up the yeah, we need to support the spearmen with the heavy infantry and move them up now. Because they're bringing up many more men. Let's uh, push our wolf riders forward and get them involved spread them out first let's move, move our general up behind the death rocket and bring in the blunt buses near the death rocket as well our goblin spearmen are overwhelmed and are currently r running or fighting for their life now, I think. Let's rally. Let's see if we can bring them back here. These horrors of Zine should just really do a work. Yeah, our, our spearmen are getting slaughtered. We didn't even hardly make a dent on these demonettes. Stop their fire and re enable fire at will so that they can shoot whoever they want. Demons, man. Oh, heavy infantry, quickly move. Protect the archers. Are you on like skirmish mode? Don't do that. Alright, 
let's push into the city. Our uh, death rocket has run out of ammo. Let's push up the blunderbuss a little bit further. And a general as well can come behind him and support. Give that almighty push of the war blah right through the demon lines. Oh, it looks like one of our black orcs has pushed in and is engaged with the demonites of Slanesh. Man, they're really holding us back here at the gatehouse. Their demonites, uh, mounted demonites, are starting to get really pushed back. men up on the walls, I'm not quite sure why. They should be down here trying to hold me back. They're bringing down more demonites to try and protect. And they're bringing down flamers of Zinch. Now these guys are absolutely horrendous to fight. They will burn my ass up. And they got more of them. And then they got the flying stingrays, what the hell. And all of this crap back here still ready to beat my ass. Come on, man, push in. Push them out of the way, there's so many more of you. Don't let them hold you in there. Yeah, we captured the gatehouse. And then we lost it. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. Push! Captured it again somehow. Don't let them bottle you up in there like this. What the hell, you orcs? Where's your pride? Uh, I hope that burning oil isn't working on us. Uh, why can't we push in? Come on guys, push them out of the way. That's right, get out of here. We can just get all around them, surround them, we can cut them down easily. Charge! Get from all angles now, guys. They're all meant to be heavy infantry. We should be able to destroy these cavalry and light infantry. They might be light infantry and cavalry, but they still aren't demons which gives them that extra power. Demons are always difficult to deal with. But I think we're starting to put, push them back. <laughs> it's Black Hawks going to town. Cut them down. 
Come on. You can do it. Oh, no way. She killed a black orc. Come on, get him. And she's down. Good job, guys. Beat him up. Don't let him stop you. Man, we've lost 42% of our men. They've only lost 16. This isn't looking so good. Since our cavalry can no, no longer fire, let's push them into the mix as well. And our archers are completely out of ammo, so let's push them in. Extra numbers should be enough to press our way in. Extra bodies, just put the pressure on them. Not sure why they've got those guys up there still, to be honest. Can we hit the horrors of Zinch up there? Or the Demonites of Slanesh? With those blunderbuss units. That's what I wonder. Okay, so they're in range. They have 42, and 27, and 36. We'll see. I don't think they can fire. Okay, let's pull everyone back then. Let's uh, combine these units into one solid group. And get everyone to push. down here. If they can get their guys, their flamers in there, they can really wreck us. So the rest of their guys are kind of hanging back. Let's hope they don't bring those flamers into the mix as well, because that'll be... Yep, they're doing it. They're doing it. We're going to be in trouble now. Everyone push. We must charge those flamers before they start burning us to death. No! Damn those flamers! No, so many of them are fleeing our men. Push through them. Jeez, come on, guys. Attack the flamers. Bring them down. General, rally your men. Oh man, all of our men are just gone. Nope, I'm out of here. I give up. Hope is slowly starting to fade. Oh man. Okay, so these archers are like, yep, yeah, we're back, we're good. Let's charge everyone back in that's okay with this. Group them back up again. Pop another rally ability, see if we can pull any other stragglers back in. Get 
yes or not? It looks like everybody has just gone. Yep, I quit. <laughs> Bring up our blunderbuss units and try and get some lay down some fire on these guys. And then group up our death rockets and our general unit. Okay, fire this way at the flamers of Zinch. Man, those guys are fast. Oh no! We had a crash, guys. Well, I guess that's going to have to be the episode. I'm sorry about that, guys, but uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you guys will continue to stick around with us through this Let's Play. My name has been Eagles82, and I'm signing out. See you guys later.